first one, the second week we met each other. Just nobody knew. So two weeks. Yeah, we were talking about marriage like two weeks. Right. Yeah. That's what's with me because they should have. My friend was coming to me with some bullshit. And I understand what your friend went through. Yeah. But guess what? I love my husband. We're married. That's what it is. Next subject. Guess what? I'm his wife, and maybe it's his baby mother. She's the past. So you and your hunger. Check this out, y'all. Got a new crib, 18,000 square feet. You know, got me feeling real presidential. So I call it the White House. So many rooms I can't even count. But the real blessing is that I'm happy and so is my Puerto Rican princess. What's up, Daddy? You ready for breakfast? You ready to feed me some? <laughs> That's right, this is my mansion. And just so everybody knows, me and Stevie split the bills 50-50. Huh? I wore my ass up to get where I'm at today. Not bad for a girl from the streets of Puerto Rico. Don't use your teeth. I tell you to stop using your teeth. That's what men do, you know what I mean? Yeah, but when you find yourself without teeth... How do you feel being married now? It feels like we're still not even married because it feels... No, because it feels like we're still dating. Mm. Yes, we are married. I am Mrs. Jordan, and this bitch is officially out the market. How you feel about us being married, though? I'm not complaining. Look around. <laughs> You look happy, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got new house. That's all good and dandy, but what's going on with my long, beautiful, white dress? I love being married to my husband, but let's be real. We just went to like a courthouse. It was at my dream wedding. Where's my dress? Where's my mamacitas with the flowers? I need you to put how much you love me by getting me a big, long gown dress where I could just, you know, beautiful diamonds and long hair, don't care. How much you think that's gonna cost me? Well, I seen the dress for like 25,000. So you wanna do this big thing, elaborate thing? I deserve it. That's gonna take some time. I'm really not spoiled. I just want what every woman dreams of, and that's the big, beautiful wedding. And Stevie already know, what the baddest bitch you want, the baddest bitch gets. I understand what you're saying. We're gonna, we gonna get to that. But before we get to that, I got another bridge we gotta cross. What's Our birthdays is coming up. So why not have like post-marital birthday bash? Post-marital. <laughs> <laughs> For me and you. Birthday party, birthday party, birthday party. Talking for daddy. <laughs> Our birthdays are just one day apart. You know, we sexy Scorpios. It was meant to be, and it was meant to be celebrated. Come here. <laughs> Damn. I'm a lucky guy. I know you're tired of them old, tired, throwback hoes, and you got you a young, bad bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm. What a life. <laughs> this is Stevie and Jocelyn post-marital birthday party. It's a lot of liquor, a lot of love, and a lot of sex. Happy birthday, Daddy. OK, hey, yo, let's have a toast to Jocelyn and Stevie's birthday tonight. Hey, hey. whether or not to believe whether these two are really married, but Mimi has our doubts, and Erica and I are here to find out if it's true. Y'all are really married. Yeah. We've been engaged from the second week we met each other. Just nobody knew. So, two weeks? Yeah, we're talking about marriage, like, two weeks. Right! Yeah. That's what's with me, because... They shouldn't. My friend was coming to me with some bull and I understand what your friend went through, yeah. but guess what? I love my husband, we're married, and that's what it is. Guess what? I'm his wife, and maybe it's his baby mother. She's the past. So f you and your hunger. When did y'all get married? We got married, what, July? The end of July? The end of July, you had a date? July 29th, yeah. We got married July 29th. Did this girl just have to think about the date if she got married? Who the hell forgets their wedding date just after a few months? And I got a marriage certificate? Yes, we got, what you mean? We got married. Okay. Michelle, I'm not gonna be lying about my own mother marriage. I got time for all that. And I'm gonna get back to my husband now. Y'all ready to get back over there with Stevie and them? Come on. I really don't give a what these bitches is saying about Jocelyn Hernandez and my marriage, because for real bitches, y'all hoes don't pay my bills. I know you invited Erin, but before I knock that hoe out, and her friend, tell that bitch to stay out your business. Checking me about her wedding day. Why is this bitch 
so concerned? That's just all I want to know. Why is she so don't worry concerned? About it. Let's just have fun. And you better check the bitch. Because if you don't check her, I'm going to check her my goddamn right. self. So the bitch don't be so concerned about my mother <laughs> wedding and my mother heart. Nobody's checking anybody. We had our post-marital birthday jam. We lovers, not fighters. I love you. I love you too. I know. <laughs> this is my party. I'm enjoying it with my husband. And I'm not really paying attention to what these hosts are saying. I'm just going to enjoy the night. But if it don't ever happen. Tired ass bitches bring me a gift from Stevie's baby mother, and they don't even bring a gift they sell. Steve, you ready? Come on. Why are you leaving, man? Ma, hold on, Ma. Where you going? I don't know what's going on. Jocelyn loves stripper poles just as much as I do. I gotta go. I gotta run. Out. Well, I thought I was right here. That's why went way up the street around the corner. She bounced on me? Wow. Yeah, she bounced. Oh, she so you ready to go to the magic? You ride with me? Yeah, I mean, it's up. She left me. What am I supposed to do? Listen, you ride with me. Young. Young. Come on, man. She left me. She stole my car and bounced. It's still my birthday, so I'm headed to the strip club. Nothing gonna spoil this night for me. We going to magic, you know what I'm saying? Turn we about up. to turn up. That's it. Turn up. You know what I'm saying? Turn up. That's it. I got this strange request to meet up with Jocelyn's booking agent, Dawn. I don't really know this chick, so I'm wondering what she wants to talk to me about. I've been booking Jocelyn Hernandez for three years. I was more than a booking agency. I was a friend, I was a manager, but all of a sudden, Jocelyn stopped calling. I don't even know why, but the word on the street is, I'm fired. I know all of Jocelyn and Stevie's business, and I'm sure if anybody's interested in a downfall of Stevie J and Jocelyn, it would be Mimi. I just know you probably feel like, I want with you. Yes. I wanted to come to you and let you understand that I don't work with Jocelyn and Stevie anymore at all. They are just unloyal people that have no loyalty towards anybody. I have so much knowledge about them, you would think that they would just be like, we don't have anything negative to do with Donna or say about her, but in their mind, they never think people will stoop to their level. And I feel like stooping to their level. Just like dumbass Stevie to piss somebody off that knows all his dirt, but guess what? I'm always ready to listen. Everything is fake. Their whole life, I get a text. Stevie is flaking. What do you mean, he's a fraud? Yes. He's contacted Benzino. He didn't let Benzino know that we were really not married and that he wanted him to put it on the front of a magazine. So he actually put this big thing out. We married. Really? Is this what you really want people to believe? Girl. With no marriage certificate? And there it is. I've been saying since the beginning this marriage was a fraud, and now there's proof. Even the ring, her previous boyfriend, Keith gave her that. Not Stevie. Uh, the day that the whole thing went on Twitter, yes. he texts me maybe an hour before he did it and says, I need to talk to you about the next stunt I'm about to pull. Stevie has lied to everyone about everything. He's now used his friend Benzino to perpetrate this lie. Now the question is, what am I gonna do with all this information? It's just like a deck of cards that they, it's gonna come crashing down. Oh yes, girl. <laughs> I got some unfinished business to handle with Dawn. Unlike my wife, I like to get straight to the point so there's no confusion. Dawn, you are fired! Oh, 
What's up, baby? What up? Oh, yeah. Ain't nothing even doing none of that. We ain't flaking, you know? Oh, yeah, I heard about Stevie J coming to try to straighten me about something and dealing with Jocelyn. Evidently, she didn't have the balls to come fire me. Really? You can't fire me. I got a folder full of documents that's proving that Stevie J and his wife are nothing but a bunch of broke ass frauds. I understand he's probably mad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was getting, he was getting like some money. Man. Yeah, he was getting some money I booking. I signed for the place where your bitch was living at. That's, That's cool. cool. I heard that. Before she moved to your rental. She was paying yeah. for it. But yeah. she ain't had a credit for that. She got four Yo, bitch, mother four closets yeah. or what? Four Forever closet. 21? Four closets. Mother nah. Nah. Get the fuck nice. out and charge on my mother but not Marcus no car. More. Stop fraud. Jocelyn couldn't even get her own place because she was evicted and had bad credit. I signed my name on the dotted line. Booking agents don't do that. That's what real friends do. You riding around town in the rental Bentley. What am I heard it's about? It's still mine. It don't matter. It ain't yours. In the bench, too. It ain't yours. And, and, and another rental, rental bench, It's too. a rental. And then with your house, you rent a house. Yeah. Let me give you the real yeah. people that own it. Yeah. These the real people that own your house. I know who own my yeah. house. It's not you. Man, this chick has hit me with everything under the sun. But you know me, cool as a fan. I ain't sweating it. But she definitely messing with the wrong one. Yeah, so she want to throw pop shots so at me and my wife. Say, me too. Wife. Yeah, me too. When y'all was married? July 29th. You want to see yeah. the text message she yeah. texted me for that? Let me, let me show you that. Yeah, show Tell me. Tell me what type of bitch you dealing with. Yeah, let me see what type of bitch you dealing with. Yeah, her. you fake married. This text basically stated that Jocelyn knew Stevie put up a fake magazine article in Hip Hop Weekly saying that they married. The Zeno put it in mother Hip Hop Weekly. The Zeno mother you No, that's my shit. That's my magazine. Yeah, that ain't yours. I'm part owner no, of the no, magazine. No, 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 I didn't know that part. Yeah, you need to worry about being a producer. Because the last time you had a hit was when Ronald Reagan was in mother But well, he's not in mother office. Exactly. We wait. The world is waiting. You'll you get For another mother hit. You could never find me. I put the money in y'all account. That's right. I get mine off the mother Top. That's right. I'm making it rain bank receipts and deposits on it ass. See, I know everything. I know where the money is, and I know what's not. The next oh, time man. you come at me, yeah. I'm right. Yeah. This non-factor flea is just tossing around any accusation she could think of. I think it's actually funny, because she can't slow down the Jordan. It's cold outside. Whatever. So I get this message from Dawn. She says she wants to meet up and talk some business. Oh, what's up, Dawn? What's going on? Nice to see you. What's going on? Now, I know she's not working with Sleezo and Joss anymore, but that's OK, because Dawn's always been on the up and up with me. So I figure I'd make some time for my girl. Amy, wow. When did y'all start hanging together? How y'all doing? It took a minute for me to figure out what I wanted to do with all the bombs Dawn dropped on me. And then I decided I wanted to go to Hip Hop Weekly and have them print a retraction. Let's just get to the point. This is a lie. Well, how do you know it's a lie? Why would he say they're married and they're not married? Just to get a... He's just, to get just a, a liar. He's not going to lie to me. So I've been knowing Sleezo forever. I mean, he's my brother, and now he's my business partner. And I know sometimes he really hasn't been keeping it honest with his chicks. He has a problem with that. But I would hope to believe that he doesn't have a problem with keeping it honest with the Z-Star. This is a message from your boy. Good morning. Yeah. I'll bump into you at 2 p.m. If that works for you, got to talk to you about this stunt I'm about to pull. Stunt I'm about to pull. An hour later, breaking news, Stevie J and Jocelyn are married. <laughs> I let don't me, see let it. Me, let me show you something else, Lindsay. No. This is a text message. Hello, L bitch. I did not see Stevie. Told them people we got married. I heard him. I was like, you know what I can't take his games. If he try me ever again, I'm going to show him, I swear. This is from who? Jocelyn Hernandez. That That's not y'all's proof. I know that ain't the proof yeah. that he's not married. That. The proof is in public records. You know, everything is computerized these days. Yeah, so well, if they were married, there would be a marriage certificate, which there is not. Damn. Right. Well, why would they wear rings? The thing is, she I walks don't... around and parades around with a ring that she got from a previous relationship, so. I know, but it... Listen, I understand that's your man. Why would he even allow you to publish something that is false? Right, right. Now, I know Sleezo ain't gonna put me in a position where I have to defend myself against them for Hip Hop Weekly, but you can best believe Z gonna find out. I think the public is owed an apology. Everybody needs to know that issue was printed under false, under false pretenses. Period. It's because not if true. not, that devalues you and your company. 
I'm trying to give my bro Sleezo the benefit of the doubt, but some of these accusations are serious. I think I'm gonna have to find out myself, yo. I also caught wind of you guys doing a spread of Jocelyn in an upcoming issue of Hip Hop Weekly. It, it, it blows my mind. Like, it's all a lie. Can, can I have a little bit of time? Okay. Absolutely. Really? What does Jocelyn's photo spread even have to do with Mimi? I can't even entertain that. I got enough things to worry about thanks to these two bird brains. If you don't take care of that, somebody else will. You know, Media Takeout loves me right now, right? Do that, Benzino. I gotta believe that Benzino will do the right thing for the reputation of his magazine and for himself. And by the right thing, I mean exposing Stevie J and Jocelyn for the frauds that they are. Can I get another shot of Grandma Ye? Yo, Z, I appreciate you taking the time out, you know, oh, to have me and Jocelyn come in here. Josh. She's working, <laughs> she's working real hard at this. Look at she, she wants no. to show you her Don't, pictures. You're looking beautiful too. Yeah. Now nah, you've been doing your thing. You know what? My husband is so sexy to me when he's handling business. I can't wait to sit down with Mencino and just give him my, all my ideas and just finally get this big spread on Hip Hop Weekly. I'm just excited. That's the cover right that's there. It. I mean, that's I the biggest that was, seller right there. Well, I thought that was one of our biggest sellers. Yeah, one of them. You know, they want to follow, they wanna follow us. I'm kind of excited that Sleaze and Jocelyn are happy, but I'm about to slap that happy right out their face once I tell them about my meeting with Mimi and Dawn. I just want to bring up something. Okay. Right? No problem. All right. Dawn called me. I had a little meeting with somebody about what Dawn. Just, 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 just Dawn just, by herself? No. Uh, that's what was crazy. It was like, it was her Mimi. Rose and Blanche from the Golden Girls? All right. Just, you know, hold on. Just give me a minute. Talk. Let me explain what happened. When they came in, they brought the cover, they threw it down, they said, we know that they're not married. Now, what I said wow. was, no, hold it. Of course, you know, come on. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sticking up for you if there's no question. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like, well, listen, Slee said they're married, so we did the cover based on that. Well, I know they're not married. They need to prove it. And I'm like, listen. We all care. good. So now Dawn has got Mimi caught up in all this nonsense. They spreading lies about me and my wife. Yo, that's not a good look. Both of these old broads, these old hags need to go to the bingo hall and sit down somewhere, because I ain't got time for their lies or the accusations. Don and Mimi ain't never been well, friends their whole they, life. They brought, and, and now they all of a sudden, it's messages and all kinds of God. And they're like, we're, we're gonna bring this to the blogs. And I'm like, whether they married, if they're we not, are if they are, I, oh, I said that. You must, you must like what they bring into the Only because they're must... talking about going at Hip Hop Weekly we and the credibility about that. of the Hip Hop Weekly is here to stay, baby. My man, my business partner, is sitting here with his wife, and they're just as surprised as I am. So, yo, as far as I'm concerned, if Slee says he's married, he's married. Just know that these people are gonna always be on y'all's asses to prove the marriage. Listen. They owe and they tie, and they ain't got else to do but worry about my marriage, worry about what the I got going on. We gonna live this where it's at, and I'm ready to go. I don't give a damn about these tired ass bitches and their lives. Mimi the porn star need to go worry about her porn tape. And Don, you need to worry about going to find you another job, because right now you have no job. Right now, you're broke. You, you bring them hoes up to me one more time, and you and I are gonna have a problem. It's all good. You have a great day. All right. That's what you call a ass. <laughs> Now, I know I'm crazy sometimes, but everybody wants to know if Sleaze and Johnson are really married. So I set up a meeting with Sleazo, Mimi, and Dawn. I'm getting everybody in one room, and we gonna dead all these accusations. Crazy, yo. Sleaze. What's up with it, bro? Oh, man. Crazy, man. I agreed to meet with Mimi and Dawn because of my man, Zeno. I ain't got nothing to prove, but now that I'm a partner in the Hip Hop Weekly, when they come for the magazine, they coming for me. And I'm about to shut their inspector gadget asses down. Look, just between me and you, you and Jocelyn are married, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, say no more. What the, what I wouldn't have brought it to you if it wasn't. No, just say no more. That's I, right. I would have I would, that's that's I would, I put uh, our magazine on the line. That's what I told I him. Put I told him. I friendship. I told him. I know that. I'm not putting no retraction. Okay. You and Jocelyn are married. Absolutely. And that's and that. that. That's that. They have nothing. It's time for Benzino to be true to his word. I'm expecting that retraction. And I want to look Stevie right in his eye while he dances around the truth. I appreciate y'all coming. I think the whole premise of this meeting as far as, as adults, come to some type of conclusion that'll make everybody happy. I just want to get to the point. The point was they don't believe the credibility of you and 
Jocelyn's marriage. It's a fraud. What date did he get married? You? I don't have nothing to prove to you. And that issue came out when? I don't remember. I think it was August 1st. August 1st, which was the same day that he sent me the text message about the stunt he wanted to pull. I didn't send you that. Oh, you didn't? No. Yeah, well, that, I mean, you know. What? Ms. Eno, you have a household name to protect. And friendship? I am a household I, name. I doubt it. And it's part of my magazine. I doubt it. Can we please, honestly? I'm wondering why this is so important to Mimi. If I ain't know no better, I think she was still feeling the guy. What's the matter, baby? You mad I married Jocelyn instead of you? So what are we here for? You and your fake marriage. Clearly, I have no feelings for Stevie J. All I want is for both of them to be exposed for the frauds that they are. Hey, that's what you feel? That's you. Well, where's the certificate? They want to see the license? You want to see the license? First of all, Benzino, any state God. has public records. That's through government. It's not through... Well, he has, he, he you must have, have to be something. married through the government. I'm a sovereign. Huh? Sovereign. <laughs> sovereign? I'm a sovereign individual. Which means what? You don't have to go through what everyone else goes through? Yeah. I don't need anything from these ladies. I'm good. I'm my own government. I make my own laws. And Stevie J, we trust. Sleeve says he's married. Y'all say he not. So we reached that point. What else can we do? So we're just not going to think about retracting the... If we lose readers behind it, well, then, you know what I'm saying? Then that's the business. So you want to go around printing fake? What? He says he's married. So what the f did I say? He says a whole lot of that's bull. It's time to put a seal on this nonsense right here. I'm the truth. A1, the man. I'm going to ask you one more question. When did you get married? July 29th. Okay. June 29th. June or July? June. Who doesn't know their own wedding date? June 29th, July 29th, February 29th. That's all I need to know, that this marriage is a complete fraud. I think we need to leave. Yeah, this is really not good for your health. Oh, yeah. gosh. Bye, okay. ladies. Yeah. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> oh, God. Cheers to you. Me and the wifey's plans on a big wedding celebration have been on the back burner far too long. And with all the speculation in the street about us not being married, it's time to shut up all the haters. So what's going on? Can we talk about the wedding? We should definitely talk about the wedding. All right, um, I know we want this big, elaborate wedding. Is that what we want? This is what I want. We already married. We need to be talking about, is we gonna stay married? We gonna get a divorce? I haven't seen this all day. And you wanna talk to me about a wedding? Check yourself. Let's talk about a divorce. After I see all of these nasty pictures, naked pictures on your phone, let's talk about that. Open your phone up. What you want to see? Open it up. Let me, let me get the phone. Let me get the phone. See, it's sad. All business. We've seen a lot of things in your phone, and I feel as you being a married man, I should have been seeing it. And like what? I ain't got nothing in my phone. i seen a whole bunch of pictures of titties, asses, so how could I be talking about another wedding when the wedding that I have now, I really don't even want it, like straight up. What are we doing? Jocelyn could take that ring off all day if that's how she feels, but mine isn't going anywhere and she ain't going to wave. I love you, Stevie, but I can't with you and your lying ways. I took my ring off because he pissed me the off. You know, I have to do something to show him, like if that's what you want to do, this is what I'm going to do and you. You marry the baddest bitch that you can even think of having, and you still FaceTime me and talking to her. You're so too jealous. That's your problem. No, 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 no. You know what's your, your problem? Jealousy is no, going to no, no. have you lose no, me. No, I ain't never had you. Because if I Once had you, lose me, your you life be... is over. Call it whatever the f you want. My life is just starting. I'm 27 years old. I'm a bad mother bitch, and I get money. I did that for you. No, you I need did to that this. for you. This been done. Steven, to me, you're a cheater. And trust me, Steven Jordan, Jocelyn Hernandez just didn't just sit around. I'm going to play the same game he plays. That's what I'm going to do. So Listen. you keep this, right? No, you keep it, because I can't it. even pawn it. I think I'm going to look for my own spot. You should do that. I'm done. Your career is on hold. Oh, whatever. Cry, baby. Soak your mama d Cry, baby. Cry, baby. I've been working on my baby Poise Cosmetics for a while now, and today is my first Poise Pop and Launch. I'm hoping that this event will be another successful venture for the Frost Empire. And by the look of the line outside, baby, we are off to an amazing start. Everybody say Poise on three. One, two, three. Poise! Yay! Thank you, ladies. Hey, boys! Oh, I'm glad y'all made it. I'm so glad to be here. Look at you. I'm trying. I wasn't expecting
waiting for the line to be like down the street both ways. Like, this is crazy. I'm so, so proud of you. I'm proud of all of us. Me too. We entrepreneurs now. That's what everything is about, though. All of us trying to accomplish our dreams. You know? We have. With all that being said, y'all go enjoy yourself. There's lipstick and jewelry and all kind of great things out there. And I'm going to get back to work. This event is all about business. I'm trying to market my brand here, and I don't have any time for drama. So even the guest list is strategic. Can't invite Jock because him and Carly got all they bull going on. Didn't invite Althea because I didn't want no drama to go down between her and Erica and Carly. Damn show sure ain't invite Stevie and Jocelyn because they got some type of media frenzy craziness going on. Zeno's caught up in the middle of it, trying to figure out who's smashing damn who, and he ain't taking no prisoners. So I'm gonna make this very, very clear. Today is a drama-free zone. Fly. What up, Fly? Talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Cool. Fly Dan Tony is the same guy that went to Puerto Rico with Sleezo and the so-called Puerto Rican princess. He's their producer, very talented, and he was pretty close to them. But from what I'm hearing, it really didn't work out with Stevie and Josh because they didn't want to pay Fly Dan Tony. What up, baby? How you got my name in the media, dog? Like, I got nothing to do with that girl, bro. Jocelyn. Fly Dan Tony's one of the names I dropped on Instagram about fooling around with the so-called Puerto Rican princess. I really don't know his involvement with her, but I do know he has some real juicy dirt for me. And right about now, I think I need that juice. I but did you know, nothing with that girl. I could have. You know what Stevie's going through, right? Come on, like, how come you ain't around no more? Because of that. I mean, we all know that. I don't rock with him because of her. Because huh? I couldn't deal with it no more. Deal with what? Wanting to smash and wanting to do all that extra stuff. Her wanting to smash you. Yeah. And then she flipped it on me with him and said, yo, he want to do something to me. So then Stevie stopped rocking with me like that. And I was like, my it's not that serious. I'm a boss. The streets been buzzing about Jocelyn's slorish ways lately. So I just think it's time for Sleazy to really understand that this girl is really detrimental, and it's time for her to take her slorish ways back where she came from, the strip club. Every time there's a problem, it's her. The reason you ain't around him no more, it's her. The reason me and him keep going through it, it's her. She wouldn't even be the baddest boost if it wasn't for Fly D'Antoni, baby. So that you know what type of woman she is. I know enough to stay clear. I can't say that for everyone at this party, because I know at least one dude in here that has smashed me. Somebody in here smashed Somebody in here. And it's not me. While she was with Steven? Recently. No. I'd rather you hear from the horse's mouth. I mean, do I know him? Yeah. I know him. Yeah. I'll go get my man. We'll go outside, just bring him outside. Wait for me at the door. We'll grab a cigar. All right. I saw all these grown-ass men really standing around at an event discussing who may or may not smash Jocelyn, and they're not even paying attention to who's listening to their conversation. But that's a good thing, because you know I'm going to have to tell Jocelyn that she's the hot topic. Boy, oh, boy. Hot out here, boy. It's hot in there. <laughs> so me and Fly Dan Tony head out to the alleyway from the party, and he has Big Rich with him. Rich is Lee's and Jocelyn's driver. So I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I know you know Rich. Yeah, I know Rich. Yeah. Well, Rich is the guy I was telling you about that had sex with Jocelyn. D. Rich? Rich. 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 Yeah, I'm Jocelyn's driver, but... Come on, Rich. Rich. Jocelyn is the reason everything goes haywire. Like, me and Sleaze done been through all kinds of together. The worst that we've ever went through is over her. The reason why he's not in the studio making great music is her. Look, Rich, a man's gonna be a man. That's you all gotta it be is. honest, Rich. You can be honest and with you know him. The same way we, we talked about it, bro, you can sit there and tell him the same thing, man. Rich, ain't you heard the truth will set you free, Rich? Well, no, no, well the no. truth will set Sleaze so free, Rich. For real. Come on, Rich. I smash, shorty. Holy Thank you. Let me say this though. Wait a minute, let me just. I'm not, I'm not the only one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm not the only one. You're not oh, the only one. Pineapple. What do you mean you're not the only one? one? I mean, I'm the driver. I'll take her anywhere she needs to go. Different what? cribs, mansions. Mansions? I took her, yeah. I don't know who she met, but shoot me Hotels? up. Hotels? Hotels, four or five in the morning. She gotta be home before Sleeves wakes up. There's one person that sees everything and knows everything is the driver. Dun, dun, dun. My thing was, I might as well, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little PC. How, how long you been smashed? Off and on, three months. Three months? This is Off no connection? On, nah. Damn, they're in a relationship. I gotta tell Stevie. I gotta tell Stevie. There's no way I'm gonna keep this from Sleezo. I understand how much he loves her, but disrespect should not be tolerated. And she's definitely disrespecting my man. This mother 
trash bag. Stevie think he's gonna come outside and come talk to me and surprise me, but I got a surprise for his ass because I know everything that's going on. And I'm glad that Carly Red told me what she told me, whether it's truth or not. I'm gonna figure that out. And I know that Bacino's been around town saying that I slept with these two fools, the driver, and bone broke down, then Tony. And I know Stevie's gonna come back at me and try to say something to me, because I know that old tired grandpapa went to go tell him. Stevie, you listening to Bencino? Guess what, Stevie? Trying to tell me some bull I'm gonna let you know what I already know. Surprise. Try to spend a little alone time bathing in the sun. You know, a girl need her a long time every now and then, cause so many things that a girl go through. Like what? I, I just. What's the problem? Every time you get around Bencino, it's a problem. He gets in your ear, jostling you, this person, you that person. When you know it's not true. Why are we talking about Benzino when you know I came out here to talk you know to why? you? Because all problems come from your bestie. I've been really trying to decide whether or not to tell Jocelyn about some of the lies that were tossed around. And I intended to tell Jocelyn that I smashed the homie, but I couldn't even get it out because she was going in on me. Every time you go kick it with him, you come back home with beef. It's like y'all sit around and talk about me. Why? Francino hates the both of us. First of all, why are you so focused in breaking Stevie's and Jocelyn's relationship? The relationship that Stevie and I have, he wants to have that with Athea. And Stevie Athea, and he knows it and he's still about to marry the bitch. I wouldn't like Stevie either. He talks about me all day, every day. When we, when I know you this bitch, what's the beef? We got past that. I'm not tripping on that. You a lot of hoes and you still gonna them. I haven't been a lot it of hoes. It doesn't even matter. Why, hold on, hold on. It, Word around the town is you Exactly. Guess where that come from? Benzino. Well, I'm just saying. It comes, the... from, it comes from your homie. It doesn't really matter where the info come from. What really matters, if it's true or not. And that's what I'm trying to talk to Jocelyn about. I'm not trying to talk about Benzino. You gonna do what you gonna do, and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You gonna run around town? See, your homie, your bestie, he gonna drive you crazy. If you gonna claim I slept with somebody, I'm not gonna do it with a minimum wage driver. Bring me a CEO of a billion dollar company. If Stevie believed that, he's an idiot too. I'm not gonna disrespect you. I'm not disrespecting you. Because you wanna you. be real. Oh no, you are. But it's cool because you always do, and you're done from day one, and that's why I'm not I going made for you. It. Why would I play you? Your mindset was stripping in the club. Let me show you how to get money that in a real matter. way that where you don't have to hurt your that's body, you don't have to hurt your mind, you don't have to hurt your you soul. Hurt my mind. You hurt my soul. And you want to sit up here like you're such a player, you hurt my soul. And you hurt my mind hurt every mind. day. Yes, you do. I, I hurt you your do. mind by every putting, day. You, putting you where you no, never no, no, been. No, no. It doesn't I matter. Did that? You mentally push my mind and drain me. And you I sick. mentally. Yes, you are. You mentally do it on purpose because you know why you're I, sick. Do you you're hear sick. No, do you hear yourself? I'm a sick for yes, giving you the life. You didn't give me. You didn't give me. Are you I gave it to myself because I worked. And you know what? It doesn't even matter because every time you get mad at me, you take my computers, you take everything that I have, you take my Chanel purse, you hide, you hide my, my purse. You hide my. Are you serious, ma? Siri, I'm lying. You yes. You don't hide my. Huh. This I don't even lock my you, you know what? You're a nasty person. Jocelyn says I'm controlling. You know, I like to make sure things run the way I need them to. So if that's controlling, so be it. You want to control yeah, everything yeah, around you. Know, you know I am controlling. That's what you feel to realize. You don't. What do you mean? You don't even control yourself. The DEA, the baby no. mamas, the kids, they I can, control you. I control you. myself. They control you because they you take all your money. So you made it to a certain point and you like me? That you lost the respect? No, 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 no. You, no, no. Lost, you forgot. You, you, forgot, you did you that with Benzino. You did that because you let him talk about me. You know why? That's you talk about. And he's a bitch, and I'm gonna whoop his ass my goddamn self. I'm not even gonna whoop his bitch that you. I'm gonna whoop his ass like a. I'm gonna beat him up. I'm gonna take that by the neck that he don't got, and I'm gonna stole his bitch ass. You telling me I ain't do nothing for your life, and you know better. So if you don't want the ring, I take it. Take it. No, I want you to give it to me. If you don't want to give it to me. Yeah, take both. Do that. And what you want me to do with him? I don't care. Okay. It doesn't affect me. Okay. I don't give a. I'm so over you. You need to get yourself together. You over who? And you need to you think over who? And you need to you think over who? I'm over you. You'll never be over me. Goddamn, bitches like that, she go in. Then right, I'm about to go in. Y'all can pretend like a bitch ain't bad. That's a fact, got this old sucker mad. You scared, go to church. Let a bitch go to work. I'm in the boys come and serve. I could not be more happier. To see everybody really loving the video and loving the song, it feels amazing. Church, what? 
I don't know what church has to do with going to work, but the video wasn't that bad and your ass was looking nice. I'm glad that you guys liked it. At the end of the day, we're a family, no matter what we go through. We need to learn how to forgive, forget, and love each other. And be able to enjoy each other's company. Oh my God. Okay. Guess what? Don and I, we're back friends like we never left each other. How y'all like that? You brought Don! Oh my We are all grown women. What is life without forgiving us together? Jocelyn is just full of surprises tonight. She brings out Dawn, the same woman who completely tried to destroy Jocelyn and Stevie, tried to steal my artist's dime from me, but Jocelyn is now standing here talking about forgiveness? I'm so confused. No matter what mother try to get in between you, you, or me, we gonna handle that. Uh, KK and Dawn was cool back in the day, but then they had a falling out when Dawn started spreading rumors and being disloyal. She doesn't yeah, know okay, me. We're not doing so, that right bitch, now. don't speak my name. Recently, I've heard that this old head has been spreading rumors about me. I don't know her from anywhere, so now you're gonna find out what happens when you spread rumors about Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if we so can agree cool, to disagree but, and get along. Me? Excuse me. I love y'all. I love all y'all. You know me? Oh. Who the are you? What's going on? You know me? Oh, are you? Wait a minute. You know I don't know what's going on. All I know is Tommy is flipping out over Dawn, and she is not alone. Tommy's behaving just how I'm feeling. Jocelyn had no business inviting this rat to this video release party. This bitch want to spell my name in a mother. Get him out. You don't even know what's going on. That was, she don't want to play with me. That was stupid, though. Son, I know where she came from, bitch. You don't know where the fuck I came from, bitch. Punk asshole. So these are the four bedrooms, three baths up here. Stevie and I have been staying in a hotel, and I'm just over spending all this money. I want to get a place. But I don't need Stevie to have any say-so in the house that I'm choosing. I don't know what he's got going on. I don't even care. The only thing that I care about while I'm in Atlanta is Jocelyn Hernandez. Anything else, it's really not in my mind. I'm gonna give you a ladies to think about it and chat. Okay. So I invited Don to come look at houses with me because you know, it's a lot of things that her and I gotta catch up in. We haven't bonded in a few years because of everything that happened and we could really think and conversate. I'm just really stuck on this bitch Tommy. Why did she try to go off on you and try to put her hands on you? She approached me with, do you know me? No, I don't. Do I supposed to know you? From what I know is that Tommy with this lady, KK. Let me explain to you like how I know this bitch. KK, you remember when I went to prison? During my time there, I met Karen. She got out before me because she only did like 10, 11 months. Now I mentioned to me before that her and KK was locked up together. She's a gangster. And that's why that's my bitch, because we two gangster bitches. Karen, she was like, man, make sure you reach out to me. You know, so when I got out, we vibed a few times and I never heard from her again. I have no beef with Grandma KK. But clearly, she has some with me. It's the only explanation that I could see why this hood red ass bitch Tommy comes up to me and wanna fight me. You a hood rat floating around Atlanta trying to figure it out. At the end of the day, though, she ain't no real thug ass bitch. It is what it is. I'm not trying to talk about that old bitch because I'm done with that conversation. And that's it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, Phoebe is upset with me. He was like, well, what's going on with Don? I was like, now you know that's my friend and I love her. If you don't like her, cool, you don't have to, but I'm dealing with her. That is behind us, you know what I mean? I love that, you. And it's not that deep, yeah. I love you too. It's not. Nice. I just tell you I love it's, you, man. I love you too, friend. Me and Dom been through a lot of things and we said things to each other that was nasty and negative. We talked it out, we worked it out, and we're in a better place. I'm going to take responsibility for the fact that Donna and I was having issues. It was all my fault. I just simply stopped calling the bitch for some that I was going through in my mind. We really love each other and we apologize to each other and we seem past that. That's the past and this is the future. At the end of the day, whatever he say, it's not gonna come in between our friendship. Whenever it, oh, I hear somebody coming in. Yo. Where you been at? Oh. I knew I smelled something rotten walking through the door, and this is Rat Dawn. 
I almost didn't even come here today. I don't know if I need to be buying a house for Jocelyn right now. She's in the full game plan mode, but by her bringing Dawn here today, it's maybe one trick too many. Wasn't this the same one throwing receipts on me the last time I saw her? Saying I was a junkie. Got texts from her saying we ain't married and this and that disrespect. So what is, what is it? I'm not concerned about what Stevie is saying. He's irrelevant to me, just like his last hit. I know I called Stevie J and Jocelyn out about a lot of things, and I was wrong for that because I should have left my personal feelings at home. But at the same time, I love my friend, and we're just gonna make it do what it do. So Stevie, get out the way. Don't go trying to do behind my back, Jocelyn, like you always do, and it always blows up. <sighs> Project Jocelyn, that's me. You hang with your buddies, that's what it is. It's more than over Dawn me now. has nothing to do with this. I'm sure Jocelyn got Dawn hanging around because they trying to do some shady business deals, but all deals got to come through me, period, because I'm Jocelyn's manager. I got an ironclad contract, and ain't no wannabe hustler Dawn going to get in the way. I'm your manager. Remember that. Honey, bring me the contract. Oh, the contract. I would like a copy. I see Stevie hasn't changed one bit. He's still the controlling, manipulating person he's always been. But what he doesn't realize is he's not dealing with the little girl Jocelyn anymore. He's dealing with a grown-ass woman. If I can't get that from you, I will do what I need to do and take the necessary steps to be able to get that in my hands. You taking me to court? It looks like you're pushing me to that limit to have to get your subpoena to give me my contract. She's not gonna let you try her, Stevie. Get up out of that Mimi playbook and remember you're messing with a boss. Now you don't need me, so you feel like you need your contract. I still love you. You can holler and scream on your no, way. No, you don't love me. You only love yourself. That's what it's all about. You, right? Now you got your own no. popping, and you want to weasel behind me no. and try to do what you want to do by yourself. My no. contract states that everything got to go through me. Bring me the copy of the contract, and then we can continue this conversation. What I always tell Steven, you know, we don't have to be in a business relationship. We could just be husband and wife and love each other. I love you. But Stevie doesn't care about being husband and wife. Stevie care about being a controlling man. That's the only thing that turns him on and makes his Not being a husband. Really and honest, Don, the way we going, I just don't see a lasting. While Stevie was out of town doing God knows what, I was digging all over that condo, and honey, I found gold. Where is me gold, honey? Hey, boo thing. What's up, hey. man? I cannot wait to tell Don. I know she's gonna be excited about this, and I'm even more excited. I can do whatever I want to, whenever I want to, and I'm happy about that. What's going on, girl? Have you seen the vlogs? Tell me what happened now, bitch. Listen, they claim or allege that you're supposedly bleach Stevie clothes. You gotta be kidding me. But let me ask you a question. Did you do it? Stevie's claiming that Jocelyn bleached these clothes, and he's also doing interviews about it. Who the hell knows what the truth is? But today, I'm about to find out. Why would I do that? First of all, right. I would not waste my time bleaching his clothes. I got too much going on. I'm doing official things around here. While he's gossiping to the right. blog, why you keep going to the blog gossiping about what I've done to you? I'm sitting down with my friend Don, and she's telling me that she's looking in the blogs, and she's seeing that my husband is going around telling the whole wide world that I bleached his clothes. No, I did not bleach his clothes. Who does that? I got something so sweet coming for him. I really never had put my hands on the contract that Stevie and I had together. I did my own little investigations and I found the contract. What? Hold up. I, the I finally got the contract, girl. When things aren't going the way Stevie wants them to go and he can't control me, he goes crazy. Where it's like the only thing that he could talk about is this contract. So after years and years and years of searching and begging, for my husband to give me this contract, I finally got my hands on this contract. So I went in his closet. I started looking through boxes. I looked down under the bed and I was like, what? It's a briefcase. Guess what I do? I open up that briefcase. Guess what's in the briefcase? The contract. I would tell you it was more bananas. What? The contract is up. What? Brian, the contract is up three years. The last time that I signed my contract was exactly about three and a half years ago when I first signed it. I'm going to go meet with my lawyer, and I'm going to make sure that we cease and desist anything that has to do with that contract and Stephen Jordan. I'm dolo, I'm solo, I manage myself. I have the contract right here, friend. Stop Send him. lying. Yes. OMG. It feels amazing to be free. I mean, I look better, I act better, I think better. I'm a lucky ass bitch. What if he says, I'm not leaving? Bitch, I'm gonna fight you for this. Oh, well, then we're gonna have to fight. The years is up, three years right. is up, you have no wow. fight. And it's right here and guess what, in black and white. If he wanna go fight it, I'm gonna send my lawyer going over with there. Me, with guess what, now? he got enough problems 
with his baby mama drama. You don't have no money to go to court with me. You a smart bitch. And now guess who managed me? I do. Oh my God, I'm so excited about the information she's telling me about this contract. I'm so glad it's over. Now she can get on with her life so she can stop worrying about paying his bills and she can worry about her own self. Because guess what? The 30% Stevie is no longer yours. You've been cut off and shipped to the wolves. He's gonna have a bad day. You wanna go around the blogs and lie about me? I'm gonna go where it really hurts. So what is that? One thing about it is, I know how to hurt Stevie where it hurts. And one thing for sure, and two things for certain, he don't need anybody else digging in them pockets, because them baby mamas is already doing that. But I'm gonna make sure that I dig in it just a little bit more, just that much more. I can't tell you everything that I'm gonna do, right. but you better believe when I'm done with him, he gonna be crying like a bitch. I'm meeting with Jocelyn today to let her know that her husband has asked could he crash at my place for a while. I don't really know what's going on because Stevie has been known to lie to me a lot, but clearly they're having some issues and I need to let Jocelyn know what's going on. So Mimi asked me to meet with her. I don't really know what she got to tell me, but I've been meaning to go sit down with her and tell her some things and get back at Stevie at the same time. Dressed up. What's going on, honey? How are you? Girl, you know, I just do something uh... <laughs> Now that I finally got this contract, I am so excited. Stevie's been trying to take control of my life, my career for many, many years, but now I'm a free woman like the Statue of Liberty. Okay. And I'm the puppet master. Now, Stevie, since the last time I seen you, uh, it's so much I have to tell you. Me too. Hey, honey, can we get a drink? I, I so need a drink right now, so thank you. You have no idea what's been going on with Stephen. I want you to really like hold on to your seat. Well, I'm holding. You know, I need a drink. Yeah. <sighs> Jocelyn sits down and she's very upset. Where's this bitch with the drink? I mean, she's distraught actually. And I haven't even started talking. Thank you, honey. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't know what's going on. Must be something real serious. You know, Stevie got a new baby, and the girl got him on child support. Okay, wait a minute. No, Jocelyn, don't cry. A baby? Another baby? Jocelyn is sitting in front of me, bawling like a baby, and just dropped a bomb on me that Stevie has another baby? What the f is going on? Are you sure it's his baby? I'm positive. I got a lot of bitches that still strip, that's still in the street. So one of my homegirls called me and she goes, you know, your husband got a baby with another bitch. And I'm like, bitch, I don't believe. Did you talk to the girl? I talked to the girl. But I'm still in contact with a lot of the strippers that I used She's to dance She's a dancer. Miami. One of the girls is a dancer. They say he got two babies. My mind is blown. Stevie might have two additional children by two different women. They say one of the girls' name is Promise Me Bay. He had a baby with her? I know you've seen that on the blog. Yeah, I saw that. But I heard she had an abortion. That girl's got a baby. So about three years ago, this Promise Be Made chick was all over social media and all over the blogs saying that she was pregnant with Stevie's baby. It caused all kind of problems at the time, but then she came out and said she had an abortion. But now, Jocelyn is saying that this girl didn't have an abortion, she really did have this baby? I'm all kind of confused. And then the stupid bitch, my homegirl said to me, Jocelyn, he's got a brand new baby, the baby's about a year and a half, and she's got him on child support. I had no clue this was going on. I, I thought it was bull Now it might be true, and I'm so disgusted with Stevie. If this is true, this is so deep. And trust me, I, I'm i a woman. I feel your pain. I sympathize with you. Mimi, he don't have any money now. After the babies that he's spent on them, now, Mimi, he comes after my money. He's giving two, three hundred thousand dollars to the lawyers. And guess what, Mimi? The money's still going out. I've seen it. I had to let him borrow money. I won't pay for it. I'm gonna let the next bitch that you try to play pay for the child support. I have to spend that money on my music and my career. He's been telling me just bits and pieces, like y'all not getting along. And I'm like, well, why? We're not getting along because he's got a baby. Are you sure, Jocelyn, or are these bitches just coming to you I trying to, to piss I you spoke, off? I spoke to Make the girl. Mad. I met up with the girl in Atlanta Station, and she showed me the paper where it says Jordan. And His name is on there. His name is on there, because they already went to court. Does he know you know about this baby, or did you keep it on the low? He, he knows. knows you know. He's still denying it, but it's 
times he never it's, said. He will never speak the truth. How many times have he lied to you? I am so sorry. It's not your fault. No, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. And I never thought in a million years that I would feel any kind of sympathy for you, but I do. I feel sympathy for myself. has a way of coming full circle. This day right here is going down in history as the craziest day ever. It all makes sense now. He came to me and asked me, could he crash at my place? I have been in your shoes, trust me. That is why when he asked me to crash at my place, I said, I need to speak to you about that. Cause I figured you would tell me more than he would and God damn it, you did. I can't deal with him, Mimi. No. I just can't. That I would rather nice. him crash at your house. I can't deal with that, Mimi. I have to. Y'all are married. I don't you have any kids with him. Made vows. You don't understand, Mimi. They are oh, I understand. Jocelyn Hernandez is sitting across from me begging me to take her man back. Neither one of us wants his lying ass. Please. You should let him stay in your uh -uh. couch. Please. No, ma'am. Maybe uh -uh. I'm begging you. No, ma'am. You want to come stay at my house and you didn't share any of this with me? Yeah, Stevie and I need to have a serious conversation, for sure. Please. He has lied to me once let again. Let stay in your, please. Not please. happening. Look at me. It's not going to happen, but I need to have a conversation with his ass. Uh for sure. You know what? He ain't gonna do nothing to lie to you. Like, he be lying to you for four years. But it's okay. You can believe him. It don't matter. Sooner or later, you all gonna come to light. Right about that. I know Mimi went back running to Stevie about those two kids, but I just can't wait to see what the bitch has done. You know, me and my husband, we still married, but you know what? We're separated. We're not in the same bed. We're not having sex. I'm doing me. I'm handling my business, and I'm so much more happy. I'm really focused on waiting for Mimi, Molly the maid, to go drop the little bomb on Steven. I'm going to be here laughing like, <laughs> Mrs. Evil. What's up, boo? Yes, what's up? Stevie is not my manager anymore, and I'm so happy that her contract is up. There is no one that can say anything about what I do with my career and how I do it. Now, Don, on the other hand, I got her book in my shows because you know that's that extra money. Sit that's down, correct. friend. It's so much going on in my life right now. I just have to chill and take it all in. Before we get into the Jocelyn Hernandez brand, I must give you the best. What the f is going on? So, you know what I did? Mimi, Stevie uses her so much, so she won't put him on child support. Right. So you know what I did. I'm gonna make sure she puts you on child support. So I told the bitch that he got babies in the streets. What? And he don't even got babies in the streets. So I just lied and made it up. <laughs> so here's the thing, y'all. This whole baby situation, I made it up. It's a lie. You think if Stevie had kids, I'd be sitting around and still be wearing my ring, still be with him, still being seen with this mother I don't think so. Guess what? The bitch gonna put you on child support because by the time I'm done with the both of you, she gonna be so mad at you, you gonna be on child support, she gonna take all your money. Right. So how you heard it, dude, girl? You get in they pocket. And when you go tell the baby mama some like that, you better believe she gonna put him on child support today, next month, or next year, but it's gonna happen. That bitch probably had a look on her face like, she was like, I was crying everything, bitch. Right. <laughs> He's got babies with this bitch, and that I can't take it, please take it. <laughs> When I'm done with him, he gonna work for me. <laughs> Jocelyn deserves an Oscar for this. Now she can laugh and play and run these people crazy. Being in the house with that fool, my mind was in smoke. I couldn't sit back and really do what I wanted to do. Right. I think Mimi's just really delusional. She's always gonna believe it's some good left in him, which is sad because she's too damn old to be believing the same thing over and over and over a damn again. You know, my contract was for three years. Right. The three years is up. Now I can put all my money in my company. But you know what? That's my mother time. What we doing? We got going on. What we my gonna phone do? ringing off the hook. Who, who called you? Listen. Tell me. We got invited to a major party that's happening in two. Who? The biggest boss. Rick Ross? Rick Ross. <laughs> yes. That's gonna be the... That's gonna take the cake. I can't wait. We're gonna have a good time. Rick Ross is having a party at his big mansion. I mean, he's got like a 20-bedroom mansion. And I'm sure taking the invitation, I'm gonna go have me a good time, get f***ed up. And you never know what happens after that. You know, Stevie's gonna be so upset when he finds out that I'm out in the streets doing all of this and all of that, he's gonna really like come for your head. It's a big opportunity for you. And I think we need to be in a place where all the musicians at. Bitch, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm one of seven, nine, man, the last number one hit.
Pop Station, Daddy Boys. We are checking in right now. Yeah, Let's yeah. see what's going on, man. Uh -huh. The man of the hour of the week of the day yeah, of the yeah, month yeah. is in the building. I'm here, baby. Now that all this rumors about fake children is over and done with, I got to focus on other things. I haven't figured out how I'm going to handle Miss Hernandez just yet, but I figured this little press tour with my partner might get a rise out of her. Now, we had, we had to yeah. bring you back here because we got more stuff that's happening, man. Yeah, man, everything is happening, man. You know, we got Miss Jackson, my partner. My new business partner, Miss Jackson, is smart, she's beautiful, articulate, and she's got a killer product that I want to be a part of. Miss Jackson and I have been getting to the money real quick, so I thought today would be a great day to announce our new business venture together. Is this more a little bit more than a business partner relationship? Sounds potential? like it, brother. What do you mean, bro? Is he giving you the, uh, the Louisville slugger? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, I really focus on my business. That's my number That's one priority. It. I gotta ask you, man, so what in the hell is going on with you and Jocelyn? Are well, you know, a lot has transpired over the last week. Don't use big words. Just tell me. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to her. Okay. Now, question: Like, I've been reading, I've been reading blogs, and a lot of people say a lot of things. So, in this picture, right? The picture with Rick Ross and Jocelyn. Have you and Rick Ross spoken? Has anything transpired with that? You know, I ain't really looking to have no conversation about it, cause you know I'm cut from a different cloth. Like, right. I'm not about to play them type of games. No wife of mine will ever be out taking no pictures or doing no. Um, manipulative stuff like this. Right. That was my last straw. I was like, yo, my kids, everybody watching. Yeah, you, you don't, don't do like yeah, this. Yeah, you don't want to hear your partner come like, hey, bro, you seen uh, Rick yeah. Ross grabbing that, your not girl? Not even that. It's more or less like she gonna push a button on, on something that she can't undo. So I can't, I can't let that rock. I know what y'all got going on, and I get the whole entertainment side of this right. business. Right. When you take a girl from the pole to the palace, some women <laughs> get it, some women don't, and I understand it. But you know, y'all together or y'all not together? Straight up, what's up? At the end of the day, I want to be happy with me. I'm loving me right now. Right. Are you really together or not? No, we're not together right now. So, because I just want to make sure it's clear. Right. We don't like to um, have rumors out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or even spread rumors. Right, right, right. So I ask the goat himself. All right, okay. Were you, were you and Jocelyn ever married? Oh. No, we weren't. So you're not married? Not at all. There it is. There you have it. So all the girls can stop coming up to me, asking me, is Stevie single? He's not married, man. This rumor started back in the Hip Hop Weekly. The Hip Hop Weekly posted the story. I don't know why the editors just did that. We were hot at the time, super hot, put us on a cover. And I just wanted to run with it because it made our happiness to say that we were married. It's been a lot of publicity about this marriage that y'all had. Like, how did that happen? It got out there that we were, so I just, I just, I just ran with it. Yeah, Jocelyn definitely wanted to be married to me real bad. And you know, I might have even wanted to marry her at some point. Now that I see this disrespect, I don't want no part to that. Can't have my last name. Did Mimi find out? Does Mimi, did Mimi always know about that? Or, so she don't even know. Nah, this is exclusive right here. The fact that I couldn't tell Mimi the truth is like, you know, like I said, I want to protect Jocelyn. She was rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? And I thought it would be a kind of like forever type of thing, you know? But I just hope she don't kick me off the couch too quick. Jocelyn, I still got love for her. I'm still a manager. I just renewed my second option as manager. Of the year. <laughs> so you're still gonna push her as an uh, artist? I'm, I'm, model gonna, thing. I'm gonna put whatever she wants me to work with her in. As far as business, I'm still there. Jocelyn and I may not be together anymore, but we damn sure got a business relationship. She signed the ironclad contract that made me her manager. The original term expired, but I picked up my option to extend. She can run around booking gigs with Dawn all she want, but I'm gonna get my 30% until death do us part. Stevie J, Dirty Boys, we here! Appreciate y'all. Since I got back from LA, I had a lot of time to think about everything, and it's time things change. I've given Jocelyn multiple chances to make things right between us, but Jocelyn is only interested in herself. Jocelyn has refused to apologize for taking a disrespectful picture by lying about these fake babies. She was never interested in forming a bond with my kids or my parents. She's like a bad habit I need to kick. I see you still playing the same old tune. You don't learn no new tune yet? I got a few new tunes. You know, I'm always have a special love for Jocelyn. In the perfect world, we're supposed to be that dynamic duo that took over the world. But you know, in life, you never get what you ask for. Ever since we left LA, it was shaky, right? We get to Atlanta, completely separated. Ah, <sighs> uh, what? 
I'm just listening to the bullshit you got to say. That's all I'm doing. What do you want to tell me, Steve? Um, I miss you. I, I know that. You miss me too? No. Okay. Not at all. I don't love you. I'm face to face with my husband, and what's going through my mind right now is that he should really be on his knees apologizing for lying. I'm sorry for stabbing you in the back. I'm sorry for being a horrible husband that I've been for five years. I'm sorry that I went behind your back and hurt you. I'm sorry, but you know what? The only thing that he can say is that he misses me. F you. What about that? What's up with you, man? You're gonna run from a like me your whole life. The only that's been there for you. It's funny how things change, right? Oh, yeah, thanks to you, I'm on child support with Mimi, but I got the bread, that ain't the problem. But a real wife wouldn't do that. I'm your wife? A real wife wouldn't do that. I thought she was on Clay with me all the way to the radio station. Now I'm a real wife? You're not gonna own up to nothing, right? Own up to what? You telling Mimi I had a baby, but I promise be man. One kiddo, two kiddo. Three kiddo, four kiddos, five kiddos. Oh, now you got another kiddo. That's six. Then you got another one. You're delusional. That's seven. No, you're delusional you're for delusional. losing all of this. Eight kids. Oh, nine kids. You might have ten. Or eleven. Nobody Twelve. believes you. Mimi believe me because you want child support. That's only chump change. I'm going to take care of mine anyway. Coming to Rose, that's how many kids you got. I don't know how you on a high horse. Tell me how you on a high horse. No high horse. I'm just sick of your You the one back hanging with Dawn. The same bra that talk dirty and greasy about you. Okay. And she just gonna throw you to the side. Never disrespect what you gonna do? Me like that. These streets is mine. Man, listen, man. Goodbye. Goodbye to you. Looking a little flabby and fat. Good night, bitch. You a hoe. Yet again, Jocelyn thinks he could disrespect me like I'm nothing to her. See, she might not be Mrs. Jordan, but she's still on the contract with me. She can't do nothing without me, whether she like it or not. I'm the boss, and I'm always be the boss. I'm done with this If you like that video, subscribe to VH1's 11 Hip Hop YouTube channel for more.